Okay, I already have the first half of my face done. To start on my eyebrows, oops, on my eyes, I'm going to start with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Yeah, there we go. All over your lid. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is take the NYX Jumbo Pencil and put this all over your lid. This is Milk, the white one. Okay, I have the NYX Jumbo Pencil on. The next step is to take MAC Golden Lemon Pigment. Now, if you don't have this, just any yellow base you want will do just fine. It's a shimmery yellow. It almost looks glittery, but it's not glittery. But I'm going to do this with a 239 brush from MAC. And it's going to go all over the lid and into the crease that high. You're not going to go, you're not going to go any higher than that, okay? Look, now make sure you get the inner corner, that area right there. And then if you can, do what you got to do to your head and get that inner corner right there. You're going to take Bright Future with the same 239 brush. It's just a shimmer yellow. The thing of it is, this is a pro product. Now, I don't know if this is one of the pros that went to the regular MAC store, but I got it at the pro store, so I don't know what finish it is. I think it's a frost. It's definitely not a matte. Um, matte would be pretty, though. You could do it in a matte. Get that angle so that when you follow it with the eyeliner, you're not missing anything. You're going to make sure you have everything. Okay. That's it for that. Then you're going to take any angle brush you want. I started off using the 266 from MAC, and then I switched to the 210. But you're going to take any makeup liner brush that you want. And you're gonna use the Aqua Cream from Makeup Forever. Makeup Forever. Aqua Cream in number 22. Um, you use any emerald green that you have, want, find, whatever, I don't care. I'll show you a little bit. I can't show you the whole thing because I suck at eyeliner and I take a long time at eyeliner. So, with ba mm, no. But basically, you're just gonna start off. You can start off in the beginning, in the middle, whatever works for what you want to do. Go from the edge of your eye and make sure you get that angle up. You don't really want to go too far past that crease area. All right? I'll be back. Okay, I've added the eyeliner. I had to erase a little bit of the yellow from up top it's not even with the other but that doesn't matter because I'll be able to erase it with the next step the next step is to take I have a Bobbi Brown palette it's old and I don't know the color but the color would be this one in the middle it's very much I'm sorry my skin tone so with this look whatever eyeshadow you have that's closest to your skin tone maybe a little bit darker just a little bit darker not dark though whatever your skin tone is i need you to get that color and then you are going to put that in the real crease and just basically blend away all that yellow you need to add as much as you want to to get this is a 224 from that you're going to just add it until you get the desired effect in my case, my desired effect is however to get the eyes even. But, um, yeah. And there's like a little bit of blending. You can see when the eyes open. It's not just a harsh line. Then what you're going to do is take a small blending brush. You know, however, whatever. It doesn't really matter. You're going to take that same color. And you're going to take that and buff that over that chromographic line or that concealer line that you put under your brow and even though it'll look 
kind of like nothing, it'll still give your eye a crispness. That it'll give the brow a crisping that wouldn't be there if you hadn't done that. So we're gonna do that. You see it? Okay. Then you are going to take Feline Coal Power from Mac, which is black. So if you don't have it, just take the blackest black you have, and you're gonna line your waterline with it okay I don't know if you can tell but I did oops I did line it um I also poked my eye a couple of times while I was away so if you can't tell that's why um if you wanted to you could line it with a green I don't really have a green that I want to do that with though so yeah I'm using makeup forever's aqua smoky lash so we're gonna put mascara on the top and bottom I'll be back okay to complete the eye look what you're gonna do is take the 239 that has the yellow on it and run it from the beginning of the yellow to the mid part of your eye like when you're looking forward oh how do you do it when you're looking forward right after your eyeball stop the, the colored part of your eye as soon as that stops that's where you're gonna um stop running it you're gonna take max Russian red or the red of your choice a lip gloss it is summer so I don't really want to do anything too much um you're gonna take the Russian red And you want the lips to be just red enough. You can leave it like that. I like it like that. But what you can also do is take a piece of tissue and pop. Mm -hmm. And then take it again and pop. Now it kind of looks just like a stained lip. Not as much as before almost done you're gonna take a big brush this is a Sonia Kashuk and you're gonna take NARS orgasm and you're just gonna run that uh -oh. you're gonna run that over your cheeks I forgot which side <laughs> I was working on I think it's this one and you're just gonna run that over your cheekbone this is the look, yellow with the green eyeliner and a red lip for Cameroon. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you all later.